Well, the fall equinox begins in just a couple of days. The official equinox will be Sunday morning at 843 in the morning. That's the official time that the sun will be pointed right at the equator. So let's go ahead and zoom out the globe here and take a look. Zero degrees latitude. That's where the sunlight is. So we get an equal distribution of daylight across the northern hemisphere and across the southern hemisphere as well. Also, as you start cutting down on daylight, what happens? Well, leaves start to lose a chemical called uh, chlorophyll, which actually is what makes leaves look green. And so as that chemical starts to break down, that's what allows these vibrant colors to occur. What colors are the best ones that we typically see? Well, you got your reds, you got your oranges, and you got your yellows. But what weather conditions do we need? Typically, you want a dry autumn and you want warm days with cool, crisp nights. We've definitely have had that, but sometimes if it's too dry, that can cause problems too. And in fact, this year, because the trees have been under enormous amounts of stress, this stress can actually shut down chlorophyll production. And what that can do is lead to an earlier onset of the color change. But that doesn't necessarily mean we get all these brilliant bright, vibrant colors. What that means is that typically they're less bright, vibrant, so they're less colorful, and they also can lose their leaves much sooner in the fall months. Typically, we start seeing peak foliage here in about five weeks, as I'll show you in a minute. Right now, though, across New England, we are already starting to get some color, but hardly any color here at home. Across central Ohio, we typically see peak fall foliage here around the second to third week of October.